hello everyone uh, welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to build a voice controlled arduino project with df robot uh, offline recognition sensor so this is what we are going to use today so we are going to use this gravity offline language learning model so the good thing is it can work without internet so it can classify the voice commands without internet and uh, we can use this with the i2c and uh, uart port with our arduino and uh, so these are some uh, instruction about the module so you can see it has some uh, onboard uh, commands 121 fixed commands and if you want to add your external command means you can add your own command and these are the some commands you can see go forward turn left 90 degrees turn right 90 degrees so it, it have many uh, onboard commands so if you want to add your own commands, you can able to add those your own command. So this is just a simple connection between the voice recognition sensor with Arduino. You can see you can directly connect with I2C port or you can directly connect with the UART port. So in today, what we are going to do now, we are going to just connect this voice recognition sensor with this Arduino Uno. And we are going to control this onboard LEDs of this Arduino Uno. And the next, we are going to control some relays with the voice recognition sensor. So first let's open the box and see what is inside this uh, sensor. So first let me open this box. So I have already opened this one. So I just opened uh, the contents first. Okay, the first one is we have some cables to connect the sensor with external peripherals. So you can see this is the sensor. So you can see it has an onboard uh, speaker and it has uh, two microphones and it has the ports and it, it has some external port for uh, adding uh, external speakers. So we have some switches to turn uh, to turn on the to 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 turn the uh, external speakers and uh, to change the I2C or UART connect. Okay, so what you can do now, you can just uh, plug this in cable, this one, and that's all. We are good to go. We can directly connect this with our Arduino board, and we are good to go. So before starting this thing, first let's power on this one and see what it is doing. So first what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just connect this uh, power pin to the Arduino 3.3 volt and the ground pin to ground. So next what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just uh, turn on this Arduino. So I'm going to just power on this board. I'm not going to do any programming first. So let me connect this one. Okay. Okay, I think I put a wrong line. So let me check the lines again. Oh, okay. I plugged the board in the wrong port. Okay, let me connect this now. You're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant. You heard that, right? So now the sensor is activated. So I haven't connected any uh, input or output lines. Let's see what it can do. So first, what I can do now, I can ask the sensor. So the wake up word for the sensor is hello robot. Yes, I'm here. You hear that right? So when I say hello robot, it started uh, hearing. So you can see it has the green or uh, the blue LED, which is the acknowledgement LED. And you can see the red one, which is for power LED. So let me, uh, I know now. Yeah, you can hear that right. If it is, if it is in the standard, it will just go off with the particular command. So let me go with uh, some command. Okay, let's use this uh, go forward. Okay. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Go forward. Done. You hear that right. So if I say the go forward, it says it, it, it gives the acknowledgement like uh, done. Let me create uh, another command. Uh, hey, robot. Oh, sorry. It is hello, robot. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Forget. Okay, forgot. It says like forgotten. Hello, robot. How can I help? Park a car. Done. You hear that, right? So I just said park a car. It says it's done. Okay, so what we are going to do now, now we are going to connect this sensor with this Arduino board and we are going to use some commands. So first, let's see what are the uh, default commands which we are having in this board. I'm off now. Ah, okay, you are off. Let me go to the product wiki and uh, let me choose some other. Uh... Okay, let me go down, go down, go down. Okay, you need to install this library in your uh, Arduino. Okay, so let me, so this is a simple sketch. So let me, to, let me go to the common words. So you can see we have uh, access for, uh, we, we have access to save our uh, 
uh, own commands and uh, we have some default commands i think yeah there is something for uh, turn on the light turn off the light where is the turn on okay you can see the turn off the camera so turn off the speaker volume up volume down okay so turn the ac yeah if you want to add your new comments you can use these commands to learn so i will show you this thing later first let's try to uh ah you can see we have that uh, turn on light okay let's ask them to turn on light hello robot how can i help turn on the light okay hello robot how can i help turn off the light okay you hear that right so it's responding for on the light turn on the light and turn off the light so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to interface this with Arduino Uno and I'm going to control this onboard LED first. Okay, so as we know, it, it has the I2C oh, port. No. So I'm going to connect the I2C port. First, let's know what is the I2C port of this Arduino Uno. Okay, R-D-U-I-N-O, to no. Okay, let's check the documentation. Okay, let's go down. Okay, accept. Okay, the data pin is A4 and the clock pin is A5. So here, uh, the green is data pin. So it should be on uh, A4. And the clock is, uh, yeah, clock is the blue one, which goes to the A5. Okay, I think uh, we are done. So next, we can directly go with the programming part. Okay, so first what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just, uh, open my Arduino IDE. So I have already opened my Arduino IDE. Let me open a new sketch. So, okay, this is my new sketch. And I have already added uh, the particular library. So you, you can see this one, right? So DF2301Q. So we have the option to use I2C or UART. So you can choose uh, whichever you want, okay? So I can choose this UART. So I have connected with UART. So I'm going to choose this UART. So just open the UART and uh, Okay, let me open the UART again. Ah. Examples, go to that one. Click on the UART. Okay, you have the UART one. So next, I'm going to open the sketch and you'll see what we are having here. So they have imported this one. So they are triggering the particular communication. So they are using this baud rate and they are setting some, or oh, they are setting volumes. They are setting mute mode. Oh, I think we can mute the sensor also. So we can set the work word durations and some other items, okay? So first what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just initiate the instrument instruction and uh, ah, you can see we have option to control the volume. Okay, I don't want to control the volume, I can use 7. Okay, I don't want to mute my board. Okay, I think we are good. So what we can do now, I'm going to just upload the sketch. So I have selected my board as Arduino Uno and my port is 38. Let me upload the sketch and uh, see what is in action. Okay, it's uploading. Let's see. Come on. Actually, we can use the sensor for uh, many use cases. Okay, I have actually used the sensor to trigger the uh, my node rate system with this offline module. So I used the cellular module with this one, and I triggered the uh, home appliance over the internet. So I will show you those things later. So first, let's see the basics of with this sensor and the Arduino Uno. So it's loading. Ah, it's always taking so much time. Okay, come on. Yeah, it's turning. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay, you can see it is blinking. Ah, okay, I think it's, it's done. Let's open the, ah, you can see. Let me just unplug the board again let me try to plug this again you're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant yeah okay let me open the serial port again Done. yeah you can see it started the wake words okay so first the wake word is 23 okay let me try to ask something and let's print the command ids hello robot you hear that right? So the volume is very low. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. You see? So when I said hello, robot, it's printing the two. So which means the work word is uh, so. 
so in how this work this sensor work means uh, each and every command has its own uh, command id okay so when we are saying something means if it is recognize the particular word means it just print it just give the particular command id then based on the command id we can do over uh, all the automations okay first let's print the command id for turn on the light and turn off the light hello robot yes i'm here turn on the light okay so you can see so when i say turn on the light it gives 103 hello robot Turn off the light. Okay. Hello, robot. How can I help? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. Okay. Okay. So when I said turn off the light, it gives one not four. When I said uh, hello, robot, it gives two. When I said uh, turn on the light, it gives one not three. So which means if I so if my command is one not three means it is turn on the light. I if know. it is one not four means it is turn off the light. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just uh, blink this board LED. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to open a blink sketch and okay, so I'm going to just blink my onboard LED. So just copy the syntax. Okay, I'm going to put it after my serial begin. Then I'm going to make something here. So okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to do these things okay so what i'm going to do now, i'm going to just remove these unwanted items so i don't want to do all these settings so i'm just removing all these parts okay so i don't want to print my command id so what i want to do now so based on my command id i need to uh, turn on or turn off the light so if my command id is equal to equal to 103 it is turn on the light which means uh, my led should be high Okay, so I just replace these commands. If my command word is 104 means we can turn off the light. So it should be low. Okay, so now you have the idea, right? So I'm going to just connect the sensor and I'm going to look for my command ID. If my command ID is 103, I can turn on the light. If it is 104, I can turn off the light. So that's all what, what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to just uh, upload the sketch to my board. So let's see what it is going to do now. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't take so much time. Come on. Come on, bro, come on. So this, actually, this is my one of the old uh, Arduino board. <laughs> I think I haven't used this for almost a year. So just take this today and I plan to do this content. So yeah, it's loading, loading, come on. Okay, it's uploading. Yeah, it's done the upload. Okay, so first what I can do now, I'm going to just unplug this one. I'm going to turn on the sensor again. You're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant. Let's see how the LEDs work. Let's take a close up look. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. You can see the yellow light is blinking now. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn off the light. Okay. You can see the yellow light is turned off now. Hello, robot. Yes, I'm here. Turn on the light. Okay. Hello, robot. How can I help? Turn off the light. Turn off the light. You can see, so now we just made a voice control Arduino project. You can able to control your onboard LEDs or anything you want. Okay, so we are done with our first phase. So next what we are going to do now, we are going to control the real appliance via this relay. Okay, so I don't have any uh, external uh, 320 root appliance. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to control this relay with this uh, uh, Arduino board. So first let me connect this relay. So I have two relays, but I'm going to just connect only one with my Arduino board. So, okay. So my, uh, so let me connect this relay with my Arduino board. So my blue was for a power supply pin, which should go for a 5.5 volt. Okay. Okay, just give the power supply. Then uh, the green one is ground. Okay, I gave the ground. You can see my green is blinking, which means my relay is on now. Let me connect this to D2, the digital pin 2. 
okay so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to add the relu control uh, part so so what i'm going to do now my relay pin is d2 so which is digital 2 so i can use only 2 here so the same thing i can use so my relay is in inverse converse so in this condition so what i'm going to do now so 2 means it should uh, go to low it will turn on so it is high when it is say turn off okay so that's all about controlling this relay so let's see how this is going to work let me upload this sketch again okay let me power off this module first okay let me power off this one let me first upload the sketch okay come on come on come on okay it's loading so we need to wait until it's done okay it's yeah it's going completed you can see it's done i think yeah okay so let me connect this sensor okay ah okay you're welcome to use the voice recognition assistant yeah let's test this one hello robot yes i'm here turn on the light okay okay that it's a turn on hello robot yes i'm here turn off the light okay you can see now the both relays and leds are turned off hello robot yes i'm here turn on the light okay you can see now it is going to turn on my turn off the relay without any internet so you can control everything via voice control so you don't need any internet you don't need hard big hardware you don't need a big machine learning algorithm to do these things you can just simply I use this one now. to control your appliance without any internet via your voice command so in upcoming videos we'll see some uh, advanced project with this voice audio sensor module and uh, we'll show you how to uh, add your own custom commands with this one thank you for watching bye